Sample cells contain DNA, and the ends of DNA are called telomeres. These protect the coding sequence of the DNA from fraying or sticking together. These telomere structures are progressively shortened during each replication cycle of the cell. Normal cells can divide approximately 30 to 50 times before they enter a phase known as senescence, where the cell stops dividing but does not undergo apoptosis. If the cell were to continuously divide and the telomere shortening occurred during each replication, then the telomeres would eventually become too short and the coding sequence of the DNA may be damaged. Fortunately, our cells have a way of correcting this DNA loss by means of telomerase. Telomerase is an enzyme that attempts to maintain telomere length. It is a ribonucleoprotein that catalyzes the extension and lengthening of telomeres due to its reverse transcriptase activity. Chromosomes lose a bit of DNA each time a cell replicates due to leading and lagging strand synthesis. The leading strand is synthesized 5' prime to 3' prime continuously, but the lagging strand is synthesized backwards. Lagging strand synthesis uses RNA primers which provide 3' prime hydroxyl groups at regular intervals but stop before the end. Hydroxyl groups provide starting places for DNA synthesis. As there is no hydroxyl group at the end of the template DNA, synthesis stops before the end. This would cause the ends of chromosomes to be shortened. This is where telomerase comes in. It fixes this shortening problem by adding TTA GGG sequences to the 3' prime end of the telomere parental strand, which are then synthesized by DNA polymerase. This allows for a complete copy of DNA to be made during lagging strand synthesis. However, if telomerase is not activated, then the cells will die due to shortened telomeres. Telomerase needs to be regulated at several points to avoid this. Telomerase is regulated at transcription, mRNA splicing, subcellular localization, assembly of telomerase RNA, and TET in active ribonuclear protein. In cancer, cells undergo an immortalization event where there is an increase in the length of the telomeres due to high telomerase activity. This allows for continual division of the cells such that the cells do not enter senescence. Telomerase is not regulated and instead the enzyme keeps adding more and more repeats to the telomere. This immortalizes the cancer cell so they keep dividing without losing DNA and genes at the end of the chromosome. Other factors such as the inhibition of p53 and the retinoblastoma protein along with the high telomerase activity allow an oncogenic transformation to occur. High telomerase activity means that it can act as a method for detecting cancer. Also, once cancer is detected, and as cancer cells gain their immortal characteristics through high telomerase activity, therapies can be made to be targeted towards the telomerase activity to inhibit the further development of cancer. Telomerase is essential for the normal function of cells. However, overexpression can lead to cells becoming cancerous with replicative immortality, a hallmark of cancer cells.